our fifth video for my Lita challenge. Five days in a row live, yay. <laughs> I hope you can hear me okay. It's kind of windy here today, but I didn't want to skip the workout today since we didn't get to do it yesterday. I wanted to do it, so um, hopefully the sound's okay. And, you know, I just wanted to talk about too, about how taking care of yourself and working out helps you with your horse. So um, working out with weights or doing yoga or cardio, whatever you do physically, I think it helps to make you um, become mindful and self-aware you know, get that, that awareness of your body and what your body is doing. And I think it also helps you to connect your mind and body together. And when you have your mind and body connected, um, your, your breath, well, I think you actually connect it through your breath. Um, you're going to be more balanced. You're going to be present and you're, it's going to make a difference with your horse. Your horse is going to feel it. And, um, yeah, I hope this wind isn't going to blow the tripod over. <laughs> um, yeah, it just makes a difference for you and also for your horse. And it helps you to get a better connection with your horse because um, you're present and your horse is present. And if your horse is having a hard time with what you guys are working on you're going to be more calm and relaxed and patient and it's just going to make make a better um, partnership with you and your horse you're going to have a better relationship so i don't know if this sound is okay so i'm going to go ahead and start the workout i think i actually started exactly when i said i was going to start <laughs> about 3 p.m so I want to make this short. Um, yesterday's video, I was proud of myself. It was only, I think, it was less than 10, 10 minutes. I think it was nine minutes and something, I'm not sure. But that was the shortest one so far. And I'm still waiting to hear from a client today. So I want to do this and make it short and sweet and to the point. <laughs> and these are five pound dumbbells. Um, oh, and first I, I just want to say too, if you're watching this video, this is a live video, so you might be catching it later on the live replay. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, so these are five pound dumbbells. These are the dumbbells that I used the other day. I left them out here, so I didn't want to bring any other dumbbells from the house out here. So what I came up with with these, we're going to do shoulders and arms. And um, I'm going to make these a little bit harder for myself by standing on one foot. I still have my balance board out here too. And I don't know if you can see, this is Romeo in the background. I don't know if you can see the pink ball right there. It's flat. <laughs> I left it out here and one of the horses played with it a little bit, I guess, and it got full of like little stickers or goat heads and it got punctured and it's flat so <laughs> can't use the ball today but if you have a round ball you can use that and work on your balance and sit and do these exercises on a ball you can do them on a balance board you can do them standing on one foot which i think i'm going to do i might move up to my ba balance board i'm not sure but i'm going to start with just standing on one foot and you can also, if your balance is a good, you can just stand regular on the ground. So um, adjust it to your own fitness level. And let me back up and let me just see if I can get my whole self on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and aim this down so you can see my whole body. Hi, everybody. We're getting ready to start. So if you have dumbbells, get your dumbbells out. I'm using five pounds, but again, adjust to your own fitness level. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, so 
whether you use five pounds or three pounds or one pound or 10 pounds. <laughs> Get your dumbbells and thank you for the thumbs up. Get your dumbbells and we're ready to go. Again, I hope you can hear me. First thing we're gonna start with are two different exercises and they're both for shoulders. The first one is gonna be a side lateral out to the side. That hits the top of your shoulder or like when you're looking at somebody front from the front, it's that cap that you see. So the first one is side laterals. Second one is gonna be dumbbell press. We're doing the side laterals, side laterals, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We're doing the side laterals first because that's a little bit harder. The five pounds will probably feel good for that and it's gonna pre-exhaust our shoulders so the dumbbell presses will feel heavier. And this is an easier movement. So since I only have the fives, I wanna pre-exhaust them with the side laterals first. Hello. <laughs> and then do the presses. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna make mine harder. So you can just stand regular. You want a slight bend in your knee. You want to be aware of your core before you start. And especially doing the presses, you wanna make sure that you're not leaning back. If you're leaning back, your core is not engaged it'll cut your breath off too. So you wanna get in touch with your core. Thank you for the other thumbs up. <laughs> you wanna get in, your, in touch with your core. Your core is what's gonna keep you um, straight and um, keep you in a neutral spine. So I'm gonna do one set on one leg and then the next time around I'll switch to the other leg. So Oh, it's not that good. Oh, shoot. I wonder if it's, um, is it just not clear? Or I wonder if it's the internet connection. Can you hear me okay? I didn't plug in my Wi-Fi extender. I wonder if I need to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of set it this way because last time when I had it out there, it heated up. So, okay, good. Yay. So, yeah, I just, I put it this way. So I'm actually, yeah, facing the light part. So, okay. It kind of looks okay on my end. I, I think I see what you're talking about, though. So, hopefully it's good enough so you can see the exercises and stuff, so, okay. Are we ready? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna start with the right leg. Two more, that'll be 15. Okay, and let's shoot for 15 to 20 on the, on the presses. If you lose your balance, just catch yourself and start again. Twelve. Let's do three more. Good. Yeah. With the um, wind blowing, it's a little challenging. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> you made it. <laughs> that was just the first set. 
I don't know if um, if you heard what we're doing. My shoulders are burning already. <laughs> so I'm standing on one leg just to make it a little bit harder. I have five pound dumbbells. So the first exercise is side laterals. Second is presses. So we're doing a superset between those two. You don't have to stand on one leg. You can stand on both legs. You can sit on a balance ball. You can use a balance board. Okay, good. So I stood on the right leg for the first set. I'm gonna to switch to the left leg for the second set. And it's been over a year since I worked out. So my shoulders are already tired, <laughs> but I'm gonna push through it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna to switch to the left leg. Again, the reason I'm doing this is just to kind of make the five pounds feel a little bit harder, but I might just stand on the ground with for the third set because I feel my shoulders already. So 15 reps on each one. Go ahead and lift your leg up if you're standing on one leg. We're going to go laterals. Two more. Good. <laughs> okay, right into the presses. Last one. Ugh. <laughs> this wind is like really challenging. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I, my glute got tired on that one from trying to like really hold myself up and not fall. <sighs> okay. While I'm resting and catching my breath, um, I just want to talk about the side laterals. Whenever you do the side laterals, make sure your elbow is not dropped. So you don't want to come up this way. You want to come up with your inner arm facing the ground. So just like when your arm hangs at your side, your inner arm is facing you. You're just lifting your arm out from the side and you're not, you're not changing the direction of your elbow. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to bend over. So you can see what it looks like from the top view. Okay, good. Yep, that's okay. Um, yeah, adjust it to your own fitness level. Um, so the reason not letting the elbow drop because that shifts to the front of the shoulder, we're trying to hit the side or the top of the shoulder. So you wanna keep that elbow up and not let it drop. Right, so keep it up. Okay, so I just wanted to see that. Because I usually see a lot of people do that one wrong. They just bring it up like this and it shifts the focus. So we want that nice shoulder cap. So you want to keep your inner arm facing the ground when you lift up. Since I'm alternating back and forth on each leg, we're going to do two more of the supersets for the shoulders. So I'm going back to my right leg. Again, you can stand just on the ground with both feet. So 15 times, go at your own pace.
This is 12. Last one. Right into the presses. That was 15. <laughs> it's kind of good having the wind going. It's like really challenging me. <laughs> it's a pretty strong wind. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, yeah, the trees over here, they're just like going like crazy. And you can see my hair. <laughs> um, whenever you, um, if you are standing on one leg, is that better? Um, just vision wise, is that why you want me to stand closer? I'll stand closer on this last one. I just wanted everybody to see I was like standing on one leg. So are your shoulders burning? Ready for the last one. Hi, good to see you. How are you? Okay, so last one. This is fourth, fourth superset. I'm gonna stand closer. Okay, I'm standing on one leg. So on this one, I'm, I'm shifting to the left leg. That's okay. Do you have your weights? <laughs> Get you some weights. We're doing two exercises, a superset for shoulders. So I'm using five pounds, but I'm making it harder by standing on one leg while we do these. First exercise is side laterals, and then second one is dumbbell press. So this is the fourth set. I'm shifting my weight over to the left side now. And okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna hit that. So. Shifting to the left side, lifting my leg, side laterals. Okay, good. This is 12, we got three more. and three. I'm gonna keep my leg up this time if I can. I've been setting it down, it's still up. And we're gonna go into presses, 15 presses. Three more. Good. Yay. <laughs> my shoulders are burning and also the leg that I'm standing on, like my outer thigh quad. It's burning. So that was four sets. Are you guys feeling it? Just enjoy your breath too. When you get done in between sets, I think that's part of it too. You know, just enjoy that breath, relax. Okay, so we're doing arms today too. And um, 
I might try the balance board for the arms. So I'm going to set this here. Let me grab my balance board. It's just right over here. So yeah, because my, my legs and hips kind of got tired from balancing on one leg. So I'm going to try this so I can have both feet down but still get some balance in it. So if you have a balance board or I think they're called wobble boards, you can use those again or you can stand on both feet or if you want to just stand on one foot you can do that too. You can also use a um, an exercise ball which if you're just getting here mine is in the pasture right there and it's flat. <laughs> I left it out here. It's flat so um, okay. I'm going to move away just for this set. I don't know. I hope you guys can see the balance board. Um, so first thing let's do, um, let's do our dumbbell curls and we'll do some hammer curls. So let's probably shoot for 15 on each one of these. This is 15, right into hammer curls. Hammer curls are where your palms face each other. And if you're using bands, you can stand on your band with one foot too to make it a little bit harder if you wanted to. 15 was a good warm up, but I think I'm gonna try to push it a little bit and shoot for 20 on both of those for the next set. So that's gonna be a total of 40, 40 reps for biceps on the next set. One of my kitty cats is out here. His name is Bullwinkle. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Do you want me to stay closer to the camera or do you want me to back up again? Can you see the balance board? Oh yeah, you can see it. Should I stay close or back up? Sorry, I'm just waiting because I know there's usually like a delay, like when I say something and then if somebody answers or by the time, by the time you hear it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got a, wait, closer is better. And then I got a, yeah, back up. <laughs> so which one should I do? <laughs> Let me do, I'll do this one close. <laughs> I'll do this one close and then on the last one I'll back up again. How's that sound? <laughs> we'll be adventurous and mix it up. <laughs> Maybe in the middle. Okay. okay, that's good. That's a good idea. Okay, how's this? Oh, it's probably because of the light, huh? Is it the light when I get back too far? Yeah, because I'm in the shade, more in the shade here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to go in the middle and then I'll come close on the on the last one. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. 
the shade it so is it better here I'll, I'll come in closer yeah I th it looks to me like the shade is better too but when I get back there I can't really see that far so I can't <laughs> I can't tell what it's looking like so okay so I'm getting on my balance board so if you're on a balance board get on your balance board and let me just make my feet even so we're going to shoot for for 20 this time okay curls first This is 20 for me. Hammer curls are next. This is 15 for me, five more. Good. Yeah, I think that was a better number for me. Oh. Enjoy your breath when you get done. Don't feel like you have to go the same pace that I go. I'm just going at a pace that feels good for me. Everybody's different depending on what you're feeling for that day. Sometimes I like to go a little slower and feel the weight a little bit more, but today I just feel like going that pace and I feel my arms already. Okay, so that was, <laughs> um, that was set number two. Um, so we're just gonna do three on this one. I went four on the first one. One, because it's a little bit bigger muscle group and two, I was balancing on each leg. So I wanted to make each side even. So um, whew, I think I'm probably gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> Are you guys feeling it? Is everybody doing it along with me? So, yeah, you can use dumbbells, you can use tubes. You can just, if you don't have any weights or tubes at all, oh good. <laughs> um, you can do, um, you can just go through the movement and like, you know, really flex your arm from, from inside the muscle. So that's possible too. So you're creating your own tension by doing that. So, okay, here we go. I'm getting on my balance board. Okay, and I think I'm gonna push it to 25 this time. 25 on each one, ready. Again, go at your own pace. If you can't do 25, that's, um, that's okay, just do what you can. So if you're going slower, um, it might be harder to get to 25 because that changes the way that you feel it when you go slower. So you might only wanna do 10. So just adjust to your own fitness level, do what feels right for you. Okay, and curls.
23. And good. Right into hammer curls. They're burning. I think that's 15. And last one. Ah, oh, burn. <laughs> Burn, burn. Enjoy your breath. Oh, I missed one. Thank you. <laughs> Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, so that was 50 reps total for biceps. And I was just thinking, you know, when, when you push yourself and you get to that burn. <laughs> you're not feeling a burn. <laughs> um, when you push yourself and you kind of get out of your comfort zone, you know, you get to that point where it's feeling hard or it's burning and you push past that and you're breathing deep from your belly, from your dia diaphragm, that's the point where it kind of starts to connect your upper body and lower body with your core because now you're really using your core to dig deep and to take it farther. So whether you're trying to um, push and do more reps or if you're wanting to go heavier and you have to really push and then when you finish you know when you have that nice breath when you're done I think that's like really important to take the time to stop and catch your breath and not always feel like you have to go to the next exercise or the next set really like I usually like take my time and just enjoy it until my breath kind of comes back to normal you know and feel feel yourself breathing deep and and feel your upper body and lower body connecting yay 22 is good <laughs> did you do 22 on each one that's good job okay so I was thinking so we have to do triceps too um, and I'm thinking since I have fives, I'm going to do a single arm extension on each side. Um, so if whatever weight you have, you might want to do both together if it feels too hard to do it singly. Um, yeah, I was trying to think of another <laughs> to see Romeo. Um, I was trying to think of another exercise. I think um, maybe the single or double, whichever feels right for you, depending on what what um, what size weight you have, and um, and then maybe some um, bent over kickbacks. So I'm still on my balance board, and I think I I might try this. <laughs> See, he's getting some exercise too. He's pushing himself out of the com his comfort zone. He's getting himself worked up <laughs> so he can enjoy his breath afterwards. <laughs> so I'm just gonna scoot back a little. Well, I don't know. Do you want me to stay closer? Do you guys need to see my extension at the top?
Okay, I'm gonna stay closer. I'm gonna get back on my balance board. I've never tried this exercise on the balance board. It's gonna be on one side, so it's gonna make it a little bit harder. Okay, so here we go. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna do yet. There he goes again. <laughs> He's entertainment while we're working out. <laughs> okay, I'll stay closer. I think I do too. I, I, it seems like it's, um, yeah, not as, not as shaded. Okay, so this is for your triceps, back of your arm. Fifteen. I'm gonna go to twenty. And twenty. And we're gonna switch sides. This is 18 and 20. Good. Oof. I feel those. Okay. Kickbacks are next. Can you guys see me? If you can't get the same number of reps, that's okay. If the ones, the reps that I'm doing is too easy, go ahead and do more or increase your weight. <laughs> He's running. He's doing rollbacks in the corner over there. <laughs> This is kind of fun working out with him in the background. <laughs> yeah, my ball went flat and I put it out there. I was hoping he was gonna pick it up and play with it, but no, not yet. Okay, are we ready for another one? So 20 reps. I'm trying to read and count at the same time I lost count. <laughs> I think this is eight or nine, say eight, nine. That had to have been more than eight <laughs> when I said that was like eight or nine. That one felt a lot harder. 
Okay, switch to the other side. Make sure you're getting a good stretch too. is 20. Oh. That's burning. <laughs> if you feel like you need to rest in between, you can. If you need to catch your breath. If not, try to go right into it. 15. Enjoy your breath. Look at my horsey. Are you guys doing okay? Are you feeling it? I'm gonna get back on my balance board. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, he's a he's a character sometimes. <laughs> he's my most um, athletic horse. He's so light on his feet and just yeah, he can almost slope in place and does rollbacks. He's like a ballerina. Okay, are we ready? So we're gonna do one more. Are you guys good to go? You need to rest a little bit more. Is your breath back to normal? <laughs> I don't have guns anymore. <laughs> I have not worked out in over a year. You're good, you ready to go? Okay, Maria, are you still here? You ready to go? So, 20 on the extensions. If you feel like you need more, go ahead and do more. Good. If 20 is too much, 15, 18, just, just do what feels right for you. Okay, here we go. Make sure you're getting a good stretch on these two. This is 15, it's burning. <sighs> ah, <laughs> I hope your guys' is burning too. <laughs> or is it just because I'm like out of shape? <laughs> and it's okay to catch your breath in between these two bows. Sometimes if you go from one to the next and you're not really breathing good, it's gonna affect your second arm. Okay, I think I'm ready. 
Oh, oof, 20. <sighs> okay, try to go right into the kickbacks if you can. Fifteen. Enjoy your breath. Getting back on my balance board. How do you guys feel? Do your shoulders and arms feel work? You feel good or you want to do want to do anything else? Mine feel pretty good. I feel I feel pumped. I feel worked. I'm probably going to be a little sore tomorrow. How are you guys feeling? I feel grounded in my body. Do you guys feel grounded? Do you feel like your upper body and lower body are connected? Do you feel whole? I feel whole now. <laughs> okay, he's back there playing with something. <laughs> okay, do we wanna do anything else? It doesn't have to be shoulders and arms. We could do um, practice some balance stuff or, oh, I know, I know something we could maybe do. It's, um, it's a, a core and a balance thing. Are you guys up for that? Do three sets of that and then kind of call it a day. We're gonna try to stop in like 11 minutes. <laughs> We're gonna try to keep it in an hour. Okay, does that sound good? If I don't hear from you, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> so this next one, I have my, um, my clients. <laughs> good, do you feel pumped? <laughs> this next one, I have my clients do a lot and um, it's really good for core. It's almost like, um... <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I missed the first, first part. Okay. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. <laughs> um, so the, um, this exercise is kind of like a, you know, when you lay on the floor and you do bicycles for your abs. It's like a standing bicycle, but because we're standing, um, you get to work on your balance too. So we're gonna do um, three sets of those and then we'll call it, a, call it a day. Oh good, yeah, I do too. My arms feel pumped. My shoulders, they feel worked. 
So I'm going to get off my balance board and um, I'm just going to kind of step back to show you this um, exercise so you can see the full movement and then I'm going to come close and do them up close with you guys. So this is what it looks like. So you're gonna you're gonna shift so it's opposite elbow to opposite knee and when you do that you're crunching your abs every time you come in okay so I'm gonna do it kind of close here so let's shoot for 20 20 on each side Think of a crunch in your ab every time your elbow and knee come together. The slower you go, the more it's going to work your balance. Okay. So if you really want to work your balance, it's better to do slower and maybe do less, like 10, than to go faster. Okay. So here we go. Do you guys feel those? A couple more deep breaths and we're going to go to the second set. Okay, are we ready? Second set. Enjoy your breath. Are you doing one more bicep set? <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> My biceps are done. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do one more of the elbow to knee. And um, on this last set, I'm going to I'm going to do 10, but I want to make it even slower. So I'm going to I'm going to hold it up just a little bit longer and really work on my balance and holding holding that crunch a little bit more. Okay. Are we ready? This is the last set. We got five less than five minutes because <laughs> I want to end this at an hour. So this is the last set elbow to knees for 
um, core and balance. Okay, only 10 on this one, but we're gonna really slow it down and focus on the balance part too. And it gives you a little bit longer time to like really squeeze and get in touch with that core when your elbow and knee touch. Okay, ready? This is eight, one more on each side. Let's really hold those long. Feel your balance, feel your core. And switch, last one. Romeo's getting closer. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. We're not even to an hour yet. We did it. <laughs> it's hard, huh? It's a really good one, though. It kind of, um, it really brings you to the present. One, because it's, it's involving your core and it's connecting your upper body and lower body which helps with your balance and vice versa. The balance helps you to get in touch with your core and you really have to be present and aware. You, your mind can't be someplace else. So it really brings you to the present. It slows you down, slows your mind down. And yeah, it feels really good when you get done. So anyway, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it and um, I'll post on the community tab for the next live so tomorrow's Friday tomorrow might just be a sit down um, or I don't know I might depending on the weather I might do something with one of my horses or whatever if you have any suggestions um, comment below this video when it's done or you can or you can um, you can say now if you have any suggestions. I was thinking of like maybe a flashback Friday and just um, if you guys don't know who I am, some of you do, some of you don't, um, but like maybe some of my background or if there's a specific topic. Um, I was thinking a while back somebody commented and asked a question on one of my videos that I thought would be maybe an interesting topic so I might do that so I haven't really decided yet <laughs> but just um, thank you guys for coming my arms are shaking <laughs> um, thank you guys for coming thank you for the thumbs up and again this is my Lita challenge where every day live every day you like the workout videos <laughs> live every day in August and I'm really going to try to stick to that even if it's just a five minute video. Um, a lot of my videos do go longer <laughs> but um, yeah and I will do some of the workouts because I think I think the physical fitness um, really helps with your horses and um, really just everything in life too so you know just I think it helps you to get a better connection with your horses if you have horses if you're here just for the workouts then yeah I'll be doing more of those too so anyway um, we're going over a minute now we're 23 seconds over <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sign off hopefully see you guys tomorrow and again check the community tab because I'll post when I'm going to come on and maybe have more of an idea of what it's going to be for tomorrow. Okay. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.
Bye.